Hello, this is Kristen from Art Saves the Day, and today we're going to be making GIFs, or GIFs. However you choose to pronounce it is up to you, but we're going to be making them in Procreate. This particular video is going to focus on a very simple GIF that I like to call the Wiggle Font GIF. Open Procreate on your iPad and begin with a fresh canvas. I'm making my canvas 1800 by 1800 pixels. Create a color for the background layer first, and then go to your first layer for your text. Choose a brush. I'm choosing the marker brush, and I'm adjusting the size to where I want it to be. And then you're going to write out your first word. If you make a mistake, you can just hit the back button or tap two fingers to step back. Once your word is written out how you like it, you're going to go back into the Layers tab, create a new layer, and then go to the previous layer and turn the opacity down so your writing is transparent. Go back to your new layer, and then you're just going to trace over your words another time. Don't worry about being exact. That's going to kind of play into your design if it's a little bit different. Then you repeat this process. Turn off the layer you just made, create a new layer, and then trace over that original layer again. This will work very well if you do this four to six times. Each time, turning off the previous layer, creating a new layer, and then tracing over that original text design. I'm stopping at 5, so now I'm going to go into the Layers tab, turn on all layers, and raise the opacity of my original layer back to 100%. Next, go to the wrench icon, go down and find Animated GIF. You'll see that it's going to give you this nice little preview of what your GIF will look like. You can change the speed of the animation by swiping this bar left to right, Stop where you like it, and then in the top right corner you'll see the yellow button that says export. I always like to save at least one copy to Procreate so that I can preview it there before I send it to other places. Yay! My export is successful. Now I can go back in and see my saved version in Procreate. Look at all my yay mess-ups. If you hit the GIF version, you can see all of your animation cells, and you can see what it looks like when you play it. This same technique can also be used on images. I'm starting with a new canvas. I made my background color the same color. And now I'm going to draw a very simple picture that I'm going to animate in the same way. On the same layer, I'm going to do my outlines over the color that I just did, lowering the size of my brush and not really paying very close attention to staying in the lines because I want this to be kind of more of a silly drawing. Let's make this look a little more like a cat nose. There we go. Now in the same way, you're going to create a new layer on top, lower the opacity of the layer that you just drew and then redo your drawing again on the new layer. Make sure that you select the color that you want for your base. And then repeat just like you did for the font. We can probably speed this part up. I think you get the idea.
And just like before, when you have all of your layers, you're going to go in and turn the opacity back up on your original. Turn all of your layers back on. And then go to the wrench icon, go to animated GIF, and see the preview of your wiggly kitty face. I hope you had fun making all of your wiggly GIFs. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, leave me a comment, and subscribe to Art Saves the Day for more art tutorials for all ages.